Kara and I am here with my Nevermore Creations June design team project for the digital kit Pretty in Purple. Originally I set out to make one journal <laughs> with two signatures. Well then the signatures started getting really full and so I changed my mind and I made two journals with one signature each. So these are the two journals using the Pretty in Purple kit for June. All right, let's dig in. Um, I will have links for both Nevermore Creations as well as for my Etsy shop. These will be available in my Etsy shop. And I think these would make really fun uh, summer vacation plans kind of memory keeping or something that you have an event because you know it's the one signature so I think that it's small enough and it would be fun for that kind of memory keeping but you could use forever for whatever <laughs> all right anyway I'm rambling let's get in so the first one I put some of those beautiful purple lace on the spine and these really fun um I don't know, I guess they're called semi-precious stones. I don't know, they're not glass. And I can't remember what kind they are. Anyway, they're on the spine and I added some lace on the sides and this is a decoupage napkin on a glassine bag. And I added some washi tape and book page for collage. And this is a pocket. I have the Tim Holtz um, post closure and I left the back because I really do like the look of the Reader Digest book. I thought it was super cool. All right in the book and I also have this inside cover the same because it looked pretty good and the greens and the purples I thought went really well. So this page is from Lindsay's uh, digital kit and I thought this would be a nice place to put your name or the dates. I left some room for a picture or journaling on the back there's some lace and it's coffee dyed. I have this pocket with some fabric and lace. It's a double pocket. Isn't that fun? I love that tag. And then this is one of the tags from her kit. And then the scrapbook paper I also love. And it's coffee dyed. In my sash I had these vellum cut apart sheets and so I thought they'd make fun pockets. And I used this one put a vellum and a scrapbook paper together to make a little tag. More of the lace. Also in my stash I had this cut apart sheet that looked like old seed packets. So I used this to make a tuck and I found this at an estate sale and I like the purple. It's a recipe card. Here's one of her digital pages from the kit. Added some purple lace on this side and then some embroidered, embroidered, <laughs> embroidered lace woo, on this side and some eyelash trim and more lace on this flip. Good place for a picture. Copy dyed paper. Using the book pages from the Reader's Digest, I made a triple pocket. So there's three little tuck spots, a little flower embellishment. Another one of those vellum cards that you can use for journaling. At a thrift store, <clears throat> I found a gardening book, and so that's in there. This is from her kit, a little tuck spot meant as a journaling card, so you could journal in there, add a picture, kind of fun. Pick more digital papers from the kit. Very pretty, and I added some lace. Coffee dyed. The other part of that gardening book that's a flip out. I have this fabric in my stash, so I used it to make a little ruffle. And then this card I made at my local scrapbook store. Uh, one of the owners from Meyer Road actually came and did a watercolor card class. So I thought this was really fun because I thought it matched the scrapbook paper that's the center of the signature. Kind of fun. 
and I have these little dangles. One of the hearts says made with love, more of the little stones, these are teardrop shape, and then a little leaf. And isn't that fun? I love that paper. <laughs> little hummingbirds on the back, coffee dyed paper, did some stamp or uh, border punching. Another tag from her kit with some fabric for the top. This was a card that I cut in half to make a little tuck spot. More of her paper. And this is a little flip that you can do journaling in. And I left this part open so if you had a bigger piece of paper, you could stick it in. Another journaling card. Another area for journaling and pictures. And a gardening book. And this, I just did some fussy cutting and I made it into a pocket. And then this one is a fabric um, tag, or not tag, but a fabric embellishment. So I did some sewing, and then this is from her kit, and I did stamp, I stamped beautiful, and added a little vintage button, and another card. And then on this side, you get all the sequence. This is a shaker card. I don't know if you can hear that, but all of the, um, sequences in there and it's a little shaker. So that was kind of fun. Coffee dyed paper and on the other side is more of her paper, her digital paper. Another page with lace and a tuck spot. One of her journaling cards and then isn't this color purple pretty? I love that lace. And that scrapbook paper that I love and more lace and there is the last uh, digital paper in this book. And there is book number one. Again, this will be listed in my Etsy shop. Book number two, I didn't do anything with the cover because I loved the flowers. I did reinforce the spine a bit um, since it's an older reader's digest book. I left the inside cover the same because I loved the look of the wheat. Added some lace and fabric in the middle. This is one of her digital papers. I had this picture, this image in my stash, and I just put it on the front. And here's a tag that I made. It makes a fun little intro page. And here's some of that beautiful purple lace. Added some tags. I have these Edith Holden stamp stickers that I added throughout this book. Uh, made in a little pocket out of the pages with some decoupage napkin and inside his little card made a little ruffle with some ribbon one of her pages again this is actually wallpaper that i put in two little tags that i've made a lot of journaling space there and this one is uh, oxides so i figured you could decorate it and add some fun embellishments or journaling Another copy dye paper and a doily. Some washi tape on this music page. Another sticker. This is tracing paper, and I just love the sound of it after it's been coffee dyed. Another gardening page flip. Some pretty floral scrapbook paper. Whoops. A lace tuck with one of her cards. Another gardening paper, or book page. Uh, one of the cut aparts, a little butterfly cut out, and on the other side there's a pocket for, and has a little tuck. And then this one, I just love this color of this page and the blues. So I added some blue trim, or crocheted lace, I should say. Another butterfly, another gardening page, I made a little fabric collage on the top. And my favorite washi tape right now. <laughs> Love it. On that, look at, hear that? Oh, that sound is awesome. Another little tuck and another digital um, card. Another tuck spot I made using the book pages and some tags that I've made. The doily, 
coffee dyed paper. Another beautiful image from her digital kit. And in this one, my shaker, I just put in um, sequins and covered the sequins, sequins with tool. And so I have a little shaker tag. And I thought it was fun because you could see it through the vellum pocket. And here's a little pocket for goodies. Another journaling area. Another little tuck spot. Some more of that lace. And here's the last page of the book. So there is book two using the pretty and purple um, kit from Nevermore Creations. And I started making uh, snippet pages that whenever you buy a journal from my Etsy shop, you'll get one of these uh, snippet pages. And what I thought is if you don't want to pull out your sewing machine, but you want to memory keep in your journal, you might want to add some texture or fun fabric or lace. So what I thought is since it's all stitched, you could just cut this out. Let's say you wanted this purple and then you could just stick it on your page and it's backed on um, book pages. So you wouldn't really have to do anything. And then since it's stitched, you could take some of it or all of it and then add it and make it kind of a fun thing. You could cut it and make tabs throughout the book. Anyway, I thought this was kind of a fun thing to add um, with the journal. So if you buy one of these, you will get the snippet page. I also throw in other goodies, <laughs> but I like that to be a surprise. Um, check these out in my shop. Check out Nevermore Creations. He has some really great digital kits and have a wonderful day.